Hello guys and welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to be covering some very exciting changes that has been uh, data mined basically by MMO champion uh, for 7.2.5 Resto Druid legendary changes. So there seems to be a new legendary ring called Soul of the Arch Druid. The only thing basically we know is that equipping it you gain Soul of the Forest talent. Um, so this is really, really exciting and I'm going to cover why I think this is a really amazing change. So for the people who don't know what Soul of the Forest is, it's basically a talent that you can spec into but no one is specking into at the moment because cultivation is a lot, a lot better than at the moment because of how Master basically scales. But Soul of the Forest, when you cast Swift Men, you gain Soul of the Forest increasing the healing of your next regrowth or rejuvenation by 200%. You don't really cast these or increasing the healing of your next wild growth by 75%. So if you watch my stream, you actually probably heard me saying that um, there's going to be big emphasis on the fluorescence because of how uh, tier 24 set works. And I was predicting there's going to be an efflorescence legendary. And I was saying that basically there's never going to be a legendary that's going to force you to use a specific talent such as like Soul of the Forest or things like that. But this legendary, does not force you to use any talent it gives you a free talent which is amazing considering how poor tier 22 set is tier 22 set is basically reduces the cooldown of your swiftman if you swiftman based on a, a target just swiftman based on its hp so if you swiftman someone who's low hp you can get like 40 percent uh, reduction of swiftman swiftman is 30 seconds you can on good scenarios you can maybe get to 20 seconds and things like that but the two set was actually pretty bad. So for the Druids that were looking forward in 7.25, everyone was saying you need to get the four set to actually do any kind of healing. Just forget about the two set. Don't even equip it until you actually get the four set. This changes everything about this. Two set is going to be really, really desirable now because if you get this, uh, if it doesn't get changed, if it still remains like this, but if you get this, Soul of the Forest talent uh, legendary ring, you will want the two set. And why is that? Basically because with this uh, ring and the two set and using uh, talent prosperity, you'll get two charges of Swiftman. Uh, let's say you Swiftman someone uh, pretty low and you get a 20 second cooldown. So let's say you Swiftman someone, uh, you get 20 second, uh, you Swiftman someone and then you use Wild Growth because Soul of the Forest should only be used by Wild Growth. It's the best usage for Wild Growth. You Swiftman, Swiftman someone, you use Wild Growth, Wild Growth goes on 10 second cooldown. Let's say your one charge of your Swiftman goes to 20 second cooldown. You still have one Swiftman because you're using Prosperity because it gives you two charges. Uh, after 10 seconds, uh, your Wild Growth uh, comes online, basically becomes usable. You use that ex extra charge of Swiftman and your Swiftman that was on cooldown now is 10 seconds and so is the Wild Growth. So the next time Wild Growth comes, on, uh, comes off cooldown, you can use another Swiftman. So in this scenario where you get, a, uh, you get a 10 second cooldown from your Swiftman from the tier 22 piece, you can almost, on a good, on a good day, you can get a 100% uptime, uptime of Soul of the Forest buff with a decent usage. Uh, this is this is very possible to get uh, to get the 100% uptime, and this this makes it almost. I'm going to predict that it's probably going to be almost one of the best legendaries to use. Uh, Prosperity is going to be one of the go-to talents with this legendary. This is the top legendaries I would say right now would be the Valence and uh, the Ring Soul of the Arch Juice, but which I mentioned right here. It's very hard to predict how much extra healing it's going to do. Uh, it's going to require to kind of change your playstyle to really, really look out to people who are low HP and Swiftman, Swiftman them if, if possible. It's going to make it a lot harder for it. You're going to have to pay attention who to Swiftman. You're going to have to pay attention uh, when to Wild Gold properly uh, and things like that. There's going to there's going to be an extra kind of uh, difficulty in how to play Resto Jude, but really good Resto Jude's are re good Resto Jude's who pay attention to this stuff, who know the damage patterns will going to benefit massively. This is actually a really, really nice change. And um, I'm really looking forward to this. There's probably a lot of other things that I'm missing uh, that could be used with it. But right now, all I'm seeing is that with Prosperity, you can almost have 100% time of Soul of the Forest and you don't have to sacrifice Cultivation. Cultivation is still there to give you the mastery buff. 
Soul of the Forest is there with the ring. Prosperity is there to give you two Swift Mans. Your Swift Man, you get super, super strong, uh, strong Wild Growth. Wild Growth becomes a really good burst initial heal. Uh, as not, with the dot as well, which the dot also applies mastery. So this is looking really, really good. I'm really looking forward to this ring. I would, I think this is a great change from Blizzard. And let me know what you think about this change. Let me know. Maybe you, maybe I'm missing something. Uh, leave a comment below. And thank you for watching this uh, little guide. And I'll see you later, guys. <laughs>